friends, welcome back to my channel. This is such an exciting video today. I'm about to show you my entire beautiful fine jewelry collection. Now a lot of you have seen most of my jewelry pieces before, but in today's video I'm going to put them all together for you and show you all of the categories and we're just going to have some fun enjoying the pieces, their aesthetics, and just looking at them. Um, if you want more details like pricing, sizing, wear and tear, where I purchased them, all of that, then please go check out my jewelry playlist. In there you will see um, each of the pieces in their individual videos or categories that I've done previously. And that is where I went into full detail on all of the pieces. Uh, but today I just kind of want to try them on for you, show you what they look like up close, and just kind of enjoy them. So in today's video, that's what we're going to do. Now this is my fine jewelry collection. I really don't have anything that is not fine jewelry. While we're at it, let's just talk about what is fine jewelry anyway. Fine jewelry simply means any jewelry piece that is made from precious, genuine materials. So, real gold, real silver, um, precious gems, diamonds, all of that. It just means that we're using real materials and not man-made materials or things like brass and copper and um, palladium and, you know, stuff like that. So that's just the distinction. It doesn't refer to the aesthetic of the jewelry. Both fine jewelry and costume jewelry can be statement pieces or they can be more conservative, dainty pieces. That is not what the difference is. So don't let the word fine fool you into thinking fine jewelry has to be delicate. It doesn't have to be. It can definitely be statement. And then we have also the category of high jewelry. Now high jewelry is more of an elevated fine jewelry. So definitely genuine materials, but more rare materials, things you don't see very often. Um, the ultimate grade of craftsmanship and things like that. Pieces that are very rare, that are not mass produced, stuff like that. So that is what high jewelry is. I do have one piece that qualifies for the category and you will see it in just a moment. So welcome to my channel, friends. My name is Jody. I talk all about jewelry on my channel. Lots of videos here for you, lots more to come. If you're into that, go ahead and subscribe and hit your notification bell. Also hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video today. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is my custom jewelry safe that I have right here. This safe is from the company Brown Safe. They make custom jewelry safes. You can pick everything, your exterior color, your drawer colors, your interior liners for the drawers, the kind of pulls that you have on them, every single thing. So I put their um, link in the description box and I also put the details of what um, customizations I have selected. So in case you like mine, you can go ahead and just refer to my um, selections that I made. I mostly have jewelry from Tiffany & Company, Cartier, David Yerman, Roberto Coyne. I also have pieces from Hippolyta, so we're gonna look at all of them. But I think I will go ahead and start with what I am already wearing today. So today I am wearing these hoop earrings from Mattia Cello. They're one of the favorite things in my collection. They are 3.05 carats. This was my Christmas gift for 2021. I absolutely love these hoops. I love that they're so durable. They're squishy so they don't bend out of shape. That's what Mattia Cello does. They um, incorporate technology in jewelry design in order to create pieces that are unique, that are beautiful, and that give you the longevity that you otherwise probably wouldn't get. As we know, hoops can sometimes bend out of shape. While we're at it, let me show you my Tiffany hoops from the Elsa Peretti collection. They're also very pretty, very lightweight, very thin, very elegant. I love these hoops. I love that they have the little diamond on the earlobe. That gives you the best of both worlds with wearing a diamond but also having a hoop earring in. Both of these are also amazing um, in terms of size. If I'm wearing a pair of hoops, I want a pair of hoops. I don't want huggies. I don't want small hoops. I want them to be Jenny from the block hoops and both of these give that. However, the Tiffany hoops have bent out of shape and I know I was supposed to bring them in to get reshaped but I kind of parked them because I've been wearing the Mattia Cello ones now 
and also the closure of the Tiffany hoops you have to push them through and they don't catch anymore they're worn out so that was another flaw with them the Mattia cello ones have our traditional back closure where you push through they're very secure and my sister taught me this I didn't know you could actually squeeze on the backs and make that um what is that the entrance exit a little bit smaller and that actually keeps your earrings more secure in your ears i didn't know that she taught me that this, by the way my neiman marcus essay is zoe she does a fantastic job if you need anything i put her description her information in the description box for you i also have an essay at tiffany his name is jay my cartier essay is tosh so all of them are in the description box reach out to them if you need anything so moving on with the other jewelry pieces that I am wearing today, I'm only wearing one bracelet because I wanted to have it mostly in here to show you, but this is my Tiffany Victoria um, diamond tennis bracelet. It has 3.08 carats of diamonds. It is set in platinum with diamonds. It's such a gorgeous piece. I love the Tiffany Victoria collection. That little flower that they incorporate is just so beautiful. Now this is a dainty delicate piece and I don't wear it as often as I do some of my other bracelets just because I this is one that I worry about a little just because it's fallen off of my hands before. Um, so in order to avoid that or you know they've tightened it since and it's very very secure now but I still feel a little bit conscious of it so I prefer to not wear it if I feel like it may be at risk so this is the one I wear least often but I wanted to put it on today to complement this outfit. The second bracelet I'm wearing is on the right hand this is the Tiffany bead bracelet. Mine is 18 karat gold with the heart drop with the Tiffany on there. So yeah these are the two bracelets that I'm wearing today. Most of the time as you know I would be wearing them in a stack with at least four to five. I'd be pairing one with my watch but I'm just wearing them like this today just to have most of the pieces to show you. While we're at it, <laughs> uh, let's talk OOTD. I'm wearing this beautiful silk cami from the brand Cami NYC. Their stuff is sold on Saks. I bought this on Saks.com, but you can also purchase directly from them. I just think they make the most classic, cute pieces. Now, what's special about them is they use 100% real silk. I know you'll see a lot of tops like these, um, but they are imitation silk, but Kami NYC goes all out and gets you the real stuff. I also love the chain detail of this one. You can see it has this cute drop in the back here. And then um, I paired my top with some jeans that I got from Le Glace, and that information is also in the description box for you. Let's move on to rings. I'm wearing my Tiffany engagement ring, of course. I have done a video on this ring for you. I also have another one coming up where I went into even more detail. This ring is just so gorgeous. Um, it is a solitaire diamond ring in the Tiffany setting. It is probably my most favorite piece of jewelry that I owned. If I were to start over my collection or to sell my collection or to move away somewhere or if I was no longer interested in jewelry, this is probably the one piece that I would still love to have. It is the first piece of jewelry I ever decided that I wanted and I am just totally sentimental about it. Love, 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 love this ring. Also guys, while we're talking about that, I have a video on how to plan your jewelry collection. It's definitely something you want to do. You wanna plan your collection, not just haphazardly buy pieces. That is how you're going to figure out how to make your pieces work together. And that's how you're going to end up with a cohesive collection that will last you a lifetime that you will keep enjoying from year to year to year. So definitely check that video out if you have not as yet. All right, my next two rings today, one of them is from the Tiffany Embrace collection. It is my diamond band that goes with my ring. I actually have two of these. I love to wear them together or separated or also on the right hand like I'm doing right now. And then the next ring I am wearing is from David Yerman. It is the David Yerman Chevron Pinky Ring. So my bands are 0.27 carats each and my David Yerman mini chevron pinky ring. It's set in 18 karat white gold 
and it is 1.11 carats of diamonds so it actually has a good amount of diamonds in there I usually love to wear it as a nighttime ring especially if I'm going to a cocktail party or something like that but I thought it was just such a great compliment for this top today and and that's why I'm wearing it right now so let's move on to the necklaces I am wearing um, the first necklace, this green one, I got for Valentine's Day. It's probably my favorite necklace right now, guys. I so love it. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. This is the Van Cleef and Arpels Vintage Alhambra um, necklace in malachite set in yellow gold. It's just such a beautiful necklace. It comes with two ways to close. This is a shorter closure, so it drops it right at the throat, which I think is so sexy. And then there's a longer one that will drop it almost to the length of where my other necklace is. So this other necklace is from the brand Ipolita. Ipolita is a wonderful jewelry maker. Um, she is from Italy. She has been making jewelry since, I think, 1999. And she just does such a fantastic job of it. This is another piece that I got from Neiman Marcus. So this little piece, it is the Small Stardust. It is the Ipolita Small Stardust. It is set in 18 karat gold with diamonds. It is 14 inches long, but I got them to add another clasp so that I can close it shorter, almost to where my Van Cleef and Art Pulse one is. So that is something you can do too. When you buy jewelry pieces, you can ask for them to make certain modifications, which will give you more ways to wear your jewelry, which is always always a good thing that means you can have one piece and wear it multiple different ways and that is always a good thing to do all right you cannot see them but I'm also wearing my anklets today so the first one is the Zoe Lev large Cuban link anklet um, it is available in size 9 or 10 inches mine is 9 inches I did that on purpose because I wanted it to sit a little bit higher up my ankle because I wear it layered with the other piece, with the other piece, which is the Zoe Love Diamond Fringe Anklet. That one only comes with nine as a nine inch length, but it has little closures on it so that you can extend it up to ten inches. And that's what I do so that it will drop below my other anklet, and then I can wear them layered. Both of these pieces are set in fourteen karat gold. They're on the more lightweight side. Um, they're not as expensive. Zoe Love is an affordable brand, so you can look into them also for other jewelry pieces. And I think I have a couple videos where I showed you other things from Zoe Love as well. They're based out of California and do such a fantastic job of making affordable, unique jewelry that has that edge. You know, sometimes you want something a little bit edgier and they definitely deliver that at Zoe Love. All right, friends, let's get into the safe and look at other items I am not wearing today. So let's go ahead and start with watches. So my first watch is my Cartier Small Panther that I received for Valentine's Day. So this is the Small Panther de Cartier watch. It is so neat. I love that it is the smaller size because I love to layer it with other pieces of jewelry. It is just so beautiful. It is the option that has the diamonds on it, which I think makes such a difference. The spindle of this is also blue and the hands are blue. Um, it is set in steel, so this is a steel watch with a steel spindle and steel hands. I think it's just such a beautiful watch. It's perfect for every day, but also nighttime. Dress it up, dress it down. I think this watch is such a great addition to my collection. I feel so happy with it because I was definitely needing an awesome watch. And I absolutely love it. Cartier delivered on this piece. I'll just show you how it opens and closes real quick because I didn't do that in my other video. But it's one of those traditional bracelet type closures and that's how you wear it. It is a little bit big. I'm going to bring it in to get it a little smaller but I've just been living in it and haven't had the time to do so as yet. The second watch I want to show you is a Movado Bold Evolution in rose gold plated stainless steel. So the finish of it is rose gold. Um, it is over steel, so it's steel plated with rose gold. I love Movado watches. I think they do such a fantastic job of clean design, very minimalist, very chic, and I really love this piece a lot. 
I don't wear it as often because it is a larger face so it doesn't always stack very well but I do like to wear it on its own or just paired with one other bracelet but I do love Movado their pieces are very affordable and very chic so that's definitely an option you can look into, especially if you're just starting your collection and want to get some more affordable pieces that are still very beautiful. Up next, since we're here, let us talk about my one high jewelry piece, which is this beautiful piece from Tiffany & Company. It is from the Circlet Collection. This is the Tiffany & Company 40 inch circlet necklace in platinum with diamonds. It has 25.7 carats of diamonds I believe and over a thousand small diamonds make this up. Each of these little circles has 11 diamonds in it and then I can't remember I think there are 93 of them but this is definitely a bold more statement piece but it still has that sleek look. It's all diamonds and it's just so gorgeous. And I really, really love to wear this piece, especially in the winter with black. I think it's such a great compliment for black outfits or for heavier um, fabrics because it does have such a punch to it. But this is a gorgeous piece and I absolutely love her. And she's very dear to my collection. So this necklace comes with this little clasp that will allow you to wear it in multiple different ways in case you want to close it and make it shorter and stuff like that. So let's move on to the next category. Let's finish talking about my necklaces. So I'm wearing two of them right now. I showed you my diamond circlet necklace. So let me show you a couple other necklaces that I own. So one of them is right here. Um, this is the Cartier love necklace that matches the love bracelet. It's such a sturdy piece You can feel the weight in this. It is 18 carats solid yellow gold It is a very functional very beautiful piece one side has the Cartier logos the other side It says love and it's just so gorgeous I have the 16 inch version of this but you can get it up to 18 inches I believe or you can special request and get it even longer than that. But this is a great everyday piece of jewelry. The chain I love, it has never knotted before. My other pieces have had knots in the chains, but however they made this, it doesn't get knots, it doesn't snag on your clothing, and it's just such a great piece to wear all of the time because of the durability of the craftsmanship. So the next necklace I will show you is a match for the small Stardust I am wearing right now. This is the Ipolita Stardust Large Oval Pave Dome. So this is a dome shape. It is so cute. I think it's such a unique piece. I rarely ever see anyone wearing anything like this. It is 18 karat yellow gold with diamonds. It has 6.04 carats of diamonds. It came as 20 inches long but I had them put in two more clasps so I'm able to close it at the 18 inch mark and also at the 16 inch mark. Again, you wanna do that to give you more flexibility in how you can wear your jewelry. But I love this piece. I can dress it up, I can dress it down, I can wear it with a dress or with a suit. It really doesn't matter, there's just so many options. But this is such a sparkly piece of jewelry. It looks like a little sun on my chest when I'm wearing it and I love 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 to wear this piece so much. Sometimes I'll layer it with my other um, Stardust necklace but if I would do it again I would absolutely buy this necklace again. It's an absolutely gorgeous piece. Alright so let's talk about the other bracelets that I am not wearing right now. So this first bracelet is the David Yearman Cable Bracelet in 18 karat gold. It has a gold dome. It has 0.41 carats of diamonds on it. The diamonds go across the top of the dome. They're not on the bottom, so it's not full circle, but I mean, the other part is hidden in your hand, so it doesn't matter. You simply slip it onto your wrist like that. Very easy on and off. It is such a gorgeous piece. I love, love, love this collection from David Yearman. I love the twisty effect of the cable. It's such a sturdy bracelet. It's so beautiful. The naked eye, you won't be able to see any scratches or anything on it, so it always looks flawless and gorgeous. 
and I really love having this piece in my collection. I also have the matching ring for it, which is this one right here. I'll tell you more about the ring in just a second. So the next bracelet I'm going to show you is my Roberto Coin Love in Verona bangle bracelet. So this is 18 karat yellow gold. It has pave diamonds across the top half of the bracelet, totaling 2.20 carats. Mine is a size medium. I love the way it opens and closes. It's a very, very secure piece. It's very easy on, easy off, so you're definitely able to put it on and take it off on your own. Has a clasp on the side, you push down, you pull out, put it on, shut it close. It also has two hidden rubies in it, which is a very special thing that Roberto Coin does. And this is one of my favorite, favorite bracelets, also a purchase from Neiman Marcus. You can also purchase directly from robertocoin.com or you can go ahead and contact Zoe and she will help you out. I have the matching ring for this piece as well. I'm going to show you the ring in just a moment. Up next is my classic Cartier Love Bracelet. I'm sure you guys know all about their love bracelet. I have many videos on it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But this is the 18 karat yellow gold Cartier Love Bracelet. Mine is a size 17 centimeters. When I purchased it, it was 6,500 and they're 69 now and moving on up. So this has been kind of an investment piece, honestly, because of just how much the price will increase on such a classic piece that has a very long history and legacy. But anyway, I love to wear it. It's usually on me all of the time. I just took it off in order to do this video for you. But I've done many reviews on it and you can check that video out. All right, friends, let me show you the other bracelets that I have from Tiffany & Company. So I have these two that I already showed you because I'm wearing them. But I also have this beautiful silver cuff. I really like the width of this cuff. It is on the thicker side. It has the Tiffany & Company logo on the front. It is from the Please Return to Tiffany collection. It's a very easy wearing piece, slips on and off easily. I really, really love it. I don't wear it as often as I used to because my collection has grown so much. But it's definitely one of those pieces that will blend into anything that you can dress up or dress down. And in terms of how my collection is set up, it's one of the pieces that I don't freak out about too much. So absolutely love that piece as well. So the last bracelet I'm going to show you, oh my gosh guys, I'm so excited about this piece. So my next piece guys from Tiffany & Company is actually one of the favorites that I have right now. This is a Tiffany & Company double row hinged bangle in yellow gold with diamonds. It has 2.05 carats of diamonds, size medium. Listen, this bracelet is so bright and beautiful. The diamonds on it are just so sparkly, so gorgeous. I didn't get to show you my video how it opens and closes, so I'll show you right now. You basically take the little hook here that's a part of the knot, push down on it, and you open it. And then to close, you simply do the same thing, and you are able to do it yourself on and on, on and off very easily just like that. It's just such a gorgeous piece. Also, what I've discovered, guys, is that the Tiffany Knot collection is very, very well priced. In terms of apples to apples, comparing it to other pieces, even from Tiffany, and also from other jewelers, I feel that what they're offering with the Knot collection, especially because it's a new collection, I think that's why it's so well priced, is to get people um, caught onto it, to purchase more of it, and kind of move away from some of the other traditional pieces that have done really Really well over the years but this collection is very well priced I've added the um, Tiffany knot drop earrings that match this to my jewelry wish list before I had the three motif Van Cleef and Arpels malachite earrings but I've seen a lot of reviews saying that they're very fragile if you drop them on the floor they're done if you get perfume on them get them wet all of that it's over for you so because of that, I went ahead and replaced those earrings with the Tiffany knot, and I am so excited about that. All right, guys, let's talk about my earrings. So I already showed you the Mattia cello hoops, and I showed you the Tiffany hoops. 
But let me show you three more earrings that I have. So the first one will be the Tiffany and Company Atlas Hoops in rose gold. Mine have three lits of diamonds on them. I, I no longer see them on the website, but they're so cute. They work so well as an everyday piece of jewelry because they're so easy to put in and take out. And they're so secure. I've never had them adjusted or tightened or anything, and they've never fallen out of my ears. They're an absolutely gorgeous piece for an everyday look that is still super chic. My second pair of earrings is also from Tiffany & Company. These are the Elsa Peretti Drops. They are from the Elsa Peretti Diamonds by the Yard collection. These are also in rose gold. I love the drop of these. They're not too long, they're not too short. They give you enough of an oomph. I love that I can dress them up and down so I can wear them in the nighttime with a nice dress and they will look super classy and super elegant. Or I can put them on, like they would have looked really, really good right now as well. So I love the versatility of these earrings. And then my last earrings, um, and I did a full video on all of the earrings, so definitely check that out if you haven't. But the next pair of earrings that I absolutely love, one of my favorite things, are actually my Tiffany & Company three-prong martini setting diamond studs so they're the martini setting they have three prongs instead of four so they're very round they look super brilliant i also received a booklet for these much like the ones um, you would get for the engagement ring so because they're whole diamonds they are also um graded the way that we grade engagement rings so I have a little booklet for it here, but they are 1.56 carats each. So they are pretty big um, for studs, but not overly large where they're overpowering, you know, my lobes. But these are definitely so beautiful. They sparkle and they shine like crazy. And just another one of the things that I like to refer to as a little sun. So that's another little sun <laughs> that I have in my collection. All right, friends, let's talk about the rings that are in my collection. So I'll start off with the first two since I touched on them earlier. So let's go back to the other David Yerman ring I have. This is the David Yerman Renaissance full pave ring in 18 karat gold. It has 0.47 carats of diamonds. It's such a dainty, beautiful ring. I love to wear it as an index finger ring. I love that it matches the bracelet that I have. David Yerman makes such great durable pieces at such wonderful price points. So this is one of my favorite rings. It is an everyday piece for me. I wear it majority of the time. And then the second ring I will show you that I just touched on is the Roberto Coin Love in Verona 18 karat yellow gold pave diamond ring. It has 1.37 carats of diamonds. Mine is a size 7.5. I got it bigger so that I'm able to wear it on multiple different fingers. I can wear it as a right hand ring, an index finger ring, middle finger ring. So that's what I did. I did that on purpose so that I have more flexibility in how I can wear that piece. But it is such a beautiful ring. I love how it matches the Love in Verona bracelet that I have. And these two are definitely two favorites of mine. I know I keep saying things are favorites, but I, I truly, truly love everything that I have in my collection. And that's because I planned out what I wanted my collection to look like. And if I didn't truly love it, I didn't buy it. You know, like Marie Kondo says, if it doesn't spark joy. So while we're at it, I might as well just show you these cute little trays that I have. They're all from Tiffany & Company. I didn't buy them. They were all gifts um, from my essay. And they're just great for traveling with to put your jewelry down on. I also like to take my jewelry off here. Looking in this cute mirror that I have, I'll put a, a link for it for you in the description. But it's such a great mirror because I can see myself as I'm getting dressed, putting my jewelry on. It has different brightness settings and all of that. And then I have four of these trays. I have two of them in the white with the Tiffany blue and then one of them is silver and the last one is all blue but they're just such great pieces to have so that you have somewhere to put your jewelry and I love 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 this one as well which is more like a tiny bowl that has a cover just such a cute classic piece 
So you'll notice with my collection guys, I'm able to mix and match all of the pieces. They all work really well together. I have a lot of 18 karat gold and a lot of diamond pieces. And so even though they're from different jewelers, they're all really cohesive and just kind of match the overall aesthetic and the overall look that I'm trying to achieve. I hope you friends enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. See you friends in another video.